there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Thank you for your patronage. I hope to see you again soon. Ah, hello. Ah, good to see you. Sorry about our uh, chat in Yoshiwara. I did mention I had something else to share with you, I believe. It's about my tuberculosis research, as you might have guessed. My Time in America has taught me many things. Among them was a striking new theory that disease is caused by the presence of organisms so small they are invisible to the human eye. I remember Sawamura said there are poisons able to counteract others. If these organisms cause tuberculosis, what if we could poison them? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh! Have you too been entranced by Mr. Fukuzawa's grand hypothesis? Mr. Fortune is an expert in poisonous plants. I asked him to assist in looking into my theory. I'm afraid I have bad news on that front. I scoured my many books on the subject, but was unable to identify any plants that might suit your needs. Ah, that's a pity. Thank you for trying. I did, however, stumble upon an interesting piece of local folklore. Did you know that the bamboo here produces small golden flowers only once every 120 years? When this happens, it releases a toxin-like substance from its roots. They say that an alchemist once used these toxins to cure a pulmonary disease. That sounds rather hard to believe. What do you think? Yes, I agree. You know, I heard the bamboo at Ryusenji Temple is currently flowering. I think I just might go there. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. I would be very glad if you decide to join me. Do come if you can. Thank you for coming. Unfortunately, I must be the bearer of bad news. I was turned away by the temple guard. He is on watch for burglars, apparently. Those bamboo flowers supposedly fetch a great sum on the market. If someone makes off with them, I won't know where to look for those toxins. They're actually considered unlucky. But, collectors do have unusual tastes. I suppose we have little choice. This is our only chance. 
Who knows when the next bamboo tree will flower? Surely the temple won't mind if I just gather the soil from around the tree. Now, if Mr. Fortune's right, we just have to look for those small golden flowers. So, shall we make our way into the temple? Ah, I must insist beforehand. Under no circumstances should you kill anyone. I can never stand for causing death in the pursuit of preserving life. Come on then. We should move when we will not be seen. Beautiful specimen, but no flowers to be seen. Still, the bamboo in Meguro is remarkable. I'll hold on to some for now. Silence as a shadow. Yeah! <laughs> 
are no possums here either. Let's look elsewhere. You make light of me. Who do you think you are? yourself. It's not the bamboo blossoms we want. Hmm. You don't seem like ordinary burgers. What is your business here? <laughs> My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I'm a scholar of medicine. Can I take some soil from around that tree? For, for medical purposes, of course. I would have beaten you break and brew if you were another one after those flowers. But it's the soil you want. Haha! <laughs> Take what you need. We did it. And without spilling any blood. Who gave you the idea to use the soil for medical purposes? That would be Mr. Robert Fortune. 
Huh. Of course he did. <laughs> He's a sharp one. Kindly, give me some of that soil. I... I'm not sure I should. Should we give some to her and have her tell us more? Thank you. I believe this soil might hold the key to a cure for tuberculosis. And I'm not about to lose more of my soldiers to that foul disease. There she goes. She seemed certain that this soil is the key. Could we really be closer to curing tuberculosis? Thou to breach nothing. Faith breeds the God's blessing. So says one of our teachings. Go forward with an unclouded heart. As you say, I must have faith. There is no time to waste. I will begin studying the soil at once. I will produce results. You'll see. I will make my mark on our country. No, on the entire medical field. Just watch.
Ah, it's you. Good timing. I just heard something intriguing. Apparently, there are outsiders constructing a building not far from here. And what's more, they're storing provisions, weapons, and ammunition inside. If we leave it be, their power will only grow. What do you say we burn it to the ground? That's exactly right. If we let them move in, it'll spread like wildfire. What difference does it make? We can't turn a blind eye to any foreign trade. Good to hear. Let me show you the way. Right, let's go. The foreigners will have been left shaken by our work on the legation, and we need to press the advantage. Mark my words, we'll drive those disease spreaders back to where they came from. We'll show them what happens when you try to invade Japan! Here it is. No skulking about this time. We charge in head first.
What are you? <coughs> are you out of your mind? <coughs> idea what you've done and you are just as much to blame what are you even doing with this villain I thought better of you they were bringing Western medicines and medical equipment for all the Japanese people suffering here none of it can be made here in Japan it's only thanks to those Westerners that we've managed to save the number of people we have so far I didn't realize either. Not exactly. Oh, now I remember you. The son of Dr. Kusaka from Choshu. I can't believe the son of a physician would act with such wanton disregard for human life. Enough. What do you know? My father might have been a physician, but he still died of the cholera they spread. As did my mother and brother. I was left alone, as they grew cold, and their bodies began to seep. I couldn't even hold their hands. I couldn't even... I see. I understand that you've suffered. But your hatred is misplaced. Going around killing Westerners is simply madness. Do you really think your family would be proud to see what you've done? There are still survivors. I'll have to treat them. You're in the way. Clear off, both of you. Do I think my family would be proud? Damn it, I... Sorry. Let's get out of here. Thanks for your assistance. Ah, oh, it's you. There's something I'd like to ask. Do you remember angering the doctor after we set fire to the outsider's building? Indeed, I do. Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking since then about what she said. I still refuse to concede to the outsiders that we should open the country. And I think Master Shoen's final wish was for us to expel the barbarians. But if my father, the physician, was still alive, he wouldn't have withheld treatment to anyone, not even outsiders. Same as in it. 
Apparently, she's from the Kanda Medical School. I'm thinking of heading over to apologize. Would you like to come as well? Appreciated. I just couldn't face going alone. Did you need something? I came here to apologize. I'm truly sorry for attacking the Outsiders building. We went too far. I can't simply forgive you with a mere apology. The dead won't come back to life just like that, will they? Doctor, I'm just stepping out. I've received word from my men that a quarrel has sprung up between some British merchants and the local Japanese. Absolutely not. You're badly wounded. You need rest, and lots of it. I agree. Seems we've done more damage than I realized. I hope this goes some way to setting things right again. Even a little. What are you planning to do? I don't think you showing up would help things, quite frankly. This is my duty, and time is of the essence. I'll be fine, so I'll be on my way. Wait! Please! So you came after all. As I understand it, our merchants failed to dismount when passing a daimyo's procession. If that's the case. Then the fault lies with the merchants. What? Then why didn't they just say so? Is it the Japanese way to draw swords on defenseless folk? I fear the procession will be spoiling for a fight. We have to make sure no harm comes to the Tell me what's happening. I thought as much. You were there. Why didn't you end it? Their blood was up. They were raring for it, so many of them. I heard that the outsiders share some of the blame. But cutting them down isn't the first resort. 
Especially those merchants just now. They had no intention to fight. Genzui Kusaka of Choshu. I must thank you for your assistance in taking down the Blue Demon. But as this issue is between the Satsuma and the British, I ask that you stay out of this matter. We told them to dismount their horses, but they didn't comply. As the palanquin reached their position, we were forced to act. More to the point, are you the ones who cut down my comrades? Why on earth you would lend aid to the British is beyond me, but this shall not stand. I apologize for what has transpired. It is as you say. Please allow me to apologize formally on behalf of Choshu another time. You expect us to simply let you go? We have to get in there now! Do not leave me! You are blood! Yeah. Yeah. I would apologize. Please don't do this. We have done what we can. Come, Frodo. If you're looking for the captain, he's home safe. And I believe I have you two to thank for it. I owe you my thanks as well. Indeed. Apologies for not realizing sooner. If you hadn't come with me, I don't think I'd have been able to apologize to Dr. Ina in earnest. And that Englishman would have been killed by the Satsuma. It's strange. When I'm around you, I feel I could take on the world. None of my other comrades inspire such a feeling. I won't abandon the expulsionist philosophy, though. That said... I have come to feel that Master Shoin didn't want us haphazardly killing outsiders. More specifically, attacking those meeting our nation halfway is no way to behave. Henceforth, I'll walk the honorable path and not sully my family's good name. I will. Alongside you, I know it can be done. As my comrade in arms, it would be good to have you walk the path alongside me. May great things await us.
Daddy! You'll help me, will you? It's my minder. He's in terrible danger. I was out looking for customers last night when I saw some unsavory types. They were disposing of a samurai's body in the moat. And in my shock, I let out a cry. I fled as fast as I could to my minder, who hid me under the floor. But when the villains couldn't find me, they took him instead. Please save him. I beg you, save my minder. Oh, thank you so much. He was taken to the back streets of the Pleasure District. Please hurry before it's too late. Out with it. Where's the girl? Tell us the truth, and we'll spare your worthless life. Dogs run this town like it's their own playground. And they'll keep harassing us till you take out their boss. So I'm begging you, help us, please. They hold court at the big estate out by the rice fields to the north. You go ahead, I'll follow close behind.
Well, now, you're alone too, are you? It's been quite a day for fearless guests. You've come for this lot, is that it? Right. <laughs> Look here. You seem reasonable. How about we make a deal, you and I? I'll pay you if you leave quietly and forget that you saw anything. So... You are not willing to negotiate. Hmm. In that case... I hope you're prepared to die! Too much. We'd best set up in some other town. But I'll let the others know you helped me. Goodbye. Enjoy scary stories? Oh, you like scary stories, yes? That's why you've come to me. <laughs> I'm a storyteller, you see, but lately I've grown tired of the same old tales. While it's nice to make people laugh, what I really want to do is scare them. To begin with, I thought I'd get new props to liven up the performance. So I commissioned a ghost picture from a well-known artist in Yotsuya. Alas! It's been a while now, and I haven't heard anything about the picture. Could I trouble you to check on the artist for me? Don't you know? Yotsuya is famous for being haunted. I figured an artist from here would be able to paint better ghost pictures. Wonderful! Please see to it as soon as you can. I'll be here working on my stories in the meantime.
What? But I only borrowed a paltry sum? You must be mistaken. Scram! Can't you see I'm busy? Or could you come to settle this man's debt? <laughs> you want to fight? I'll bash your brain in! Wait a minute. You work for that storyteller, don't you? You really saved my skin. Here, take this. Hi there. Your friend's the storyteller asked me to give you a message. He said he was headed to Oiwa Inari Shrine. Oh, dear. 
I must have fallen asleep. Oh, it's you. Seems like I fell asleep while listening to the sound of that shamisen. The shrine is rumored to be haunted, you see. I thought I'd come and get some inspiration for my story. I saw a beautiful woman heading in, so I followed after her. That's when I heard someone playing a shamisen. And that's all I remember. Of course, that woman, she must have been a ghost. You're joking. Such a beauty couldn't possibly be a ninja. Body? I don't see one anywhere. She was a ghost. There's no doubt about it. Ah, thanks a lot. This ghost, she's the spitting image of the woman I saw. What's more, she's even holding a shamisen. A shamisen? Yes. The sun would be perfect for livening up the performance. Now that I have props as well as his story, my new stage is set. Mark my words, the name Enjo will become synonymous with horror. <laughs>